Yo, what's up you guys? Out here on the river today. Um, gonna do just kind of an evening session. Uh, it's it's gonna be interesting. It's one of the warmest days of the year so far. So I'm gonna be kind of curious to see how these fish react to the warmer weather. We got bright sunlight, um, which you know how that goes. A lot of times that actually makes for the worst conditions. Um, but it sure is a joy being out here in these conditions, so we'll see. Um, primarily just going to start out Euro nymphing. I might do some dry dropper. Uh, I'm just going to kind of let the, the situation on the water kind of dictate what I do, which is generally how I approach most things. Um, so today is not really going to be any different. I'm going to start with some water that I've already fished before in the past, um, but then going to keep working up this section um, and explore some water that I've never actually been to. Uh, and give that a try and see how that goes. Um, anyway, let's get out there on this amazing day and see uh, see what happens. Okay, I moved up the run just a little bit here. See if we can find any fish in this section. Still running the same rig. Caddis dry with a little caddis dropper on a Euro liter. It's pretty sunny. So, probably won't get any dry fly eaters in this section, but you never know. I don't know what these fish are focused on. I just want to cover this dry dropper, and then I'll probably move back through this water with a different, um, with two nymphs. See if I can get any of those fish that are lower that wouldn't necessarily eat on a dry dropper. Kind of cover this shallow stuff first. There's a decent amount of bug activity, so that's why I wanted to try that dry fly first. Especially since we haven't been getting huge amounts of sun or activity with warm water like, or warm uh, temperatures like this. It was worth a try just to see. There's a fish on the dropper. It's a little guy. Well, they seem to be active. Came up and ate the caddis. What a pretty fish though. Super pretty fish. Look at that guy. Get him unhooked. Cool, what a pretty fish. And he's out of here. Well, nothing on the dry fly so far, but gosh, there's a lot of bug activity right now. Well, that's a better fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Need to move back on this guy. Way better fish than that last one. this guy in the net and he's in the net he was a little bit further back in that run so I wonder if I need to fish this back through again again on that dropper another pretty fish oh he's got a he's got a fly in his butt and that's actually a fly that's actually my fly from a few weeks ago. So you can see they uh, they definitely survive when you break them off. That was that was pretty crazy. That fish had a fly in it from fishing here about a month ago, um, and he was still as healthy as can be. He was swimming around. He ate my fly again. Um, that's the only time I've ever had it that I've ever caught a fish that had my fly still in it from breaking me off uh, a previous time. Um, I don't think I smashed my barb on that one and that's probably why that was still in there. So that's my bad. Smash your barbs. It's important. That fly would not be still in that fish if I had done that. So it's a good reminder to all of us to do that. So let's see if we can find another fish without my fly in it. With the uh, red tag Pertagon and a caddis. Let this swing and see what, there's a fish on the swing. 
Sounds like a good fish. Let's see if we can get him back up here. It's a good fish. Oh, it looks like he ate the, oh no, he ate the waltz. Sexy waltz worm. On the swing, though. Fish up for you and show them to you. Pretty cool. Let them go. Okay. Go again. See if we can get another one out of this run here. Again, I'm going to let this swing up and just see. Because that fish, he definitely wanted it on the swing. I'll give this a few more. There's a fish. Side pressure. Feels like about like the last fish. Whitefish? Yeah, first white fish of the day. Come here, buddy. You count too, right? Yeah, you do. You can't. Oh, chill, 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 bro. He's white fish, man. Oh, quick release. They, uh, they really go for it. Okay, we're hitting some water in the shade, and I think there's a chance of getting them to eat a dry fly. You never know. Whoa. I totally missed that take. That's a huge fish. Stay here. That fish ate a, that fish ate a squala dry, and I missed him. <laughs> and that's a huge fish. I mean, that is a tank. Is one of the you guys see that thing that is one of the sweetest i don't know if you can see him that is one of the sweetest red sides right there this fish ate a squalor while i was looking away and man that is one of the prettiest to shoot fish you're ever gonna see i'm gonna let this fish go for you guys so pretty that red color what a cool fish there he goes so rad so here i am messing around looking at a different spot in the run there and my dry fly is out there that big old squala pattern that i tied up the other day and all of a sudden it goes under and i'm not even paying attention and it had that really nice red band on there that's a sweet fish um super pretty fish so i think i'm gonna keep this squala on obviously and just keep working my way up this bank hitting the spots in the shade with that fly and seeing if there's any more fish that I can get to eat it. So let's keep working up this bank and see if we can find another one of those cool fish. Okay, I put on a smaller dropper and let's try this out. So I put on a smaller dropper, little flashy pheasant tail thing. I just want to see up this like soft edge. There's probably some fish sitting right along the bank. And I just want to see if I can get one of those fish to commit on this edge here before I blast in there with a heavier fly there's a fish just a little guy <laughs> okay let's see if we can get a bigger one on this edge here There's a fish. Woo! See, I knew, I knew that there was a fish in this soft edge. I was hoping that he would eat a squala, but yeah, you can't win them all. Whoa, whoa, bro. Where are you going? What are you doing, dude? You going into the bank there? 
Chill, bro. Chill. Super red cheeks. Nice fish. And away he goes. Okay, so I just ran back to the car and grabbed my 10 foot four weight um, because I want to be able to throw a true fly line. I was throwing that dry drop on the Euro Nymph and or on the Euro Rod, um, and it was working fine, but I think I could get slightly better performance for what I'm trying to do for the rest of the night with the true fly line, um, like this four weight. Well, true is relative, but you know what I mean. Um, Anyway, since I'm just going dry dropper, I thought it would make sense to actually switch to a dry dropper rod uh, that's more dedicated for that. and It'll make this a little bit easier. So we're going to head back down to the water and give this setup a go. Okay, new spot, new rod. I'm going to see if we can get a fish to eat a squala along some of these banks here. See if he'll, there's a fish. It's a good fish. He ate the dropper. Some fast current to land fish in here. Whew. Super nice fish. Good fish here. Got him. That's a tough spot, man. In this fast water with these fish. Cool fish. We will let them know. Cool. Okay, you guys, that's it for this week's video. Um, pretty fun day overall. Caught fish, Euro nymphing. We caught them on a dry fly, squala for that matter, a big dry fly, which is super fun. And we caught them on dry dropper. So, you know. I think the only thing we're missing there is a streamer eat or a soft tackle um, but I'll take it that's a fun day any day that you can catch fish on a bunch of different methods and kind of pick your pick your poison so to speak to fish the way you want to fish um, and not have to just fish the way the fish are dictating um, I know I said at the start of the video that I was gonna do that but I don't know it's hard for me to pass up an opportunity to dry dropper if I can um, that's kind of my favorite way to pick apart water because um, you kind of get busted both worlds there. It's not as effective all the time, but I like it. Anyway, keep an eye out for next week's video. And if you can, subscribe. That would be awesome. It helps out a lot. Um, be sure to like the video. Hit that little bell so that you get notified. Um, I'm releasing videos every Tuesday. So keep an eye out for that. And I'll look forward to the next one. See you guys later.